Hey everybody, welcome back to the YouTube channel and welcome back to the New Zealand winter time. I'm going up the mountains to camp out in a storm. I have a massive new special big tent <laughs> which I'm going to get set up and hopefully we'll survive the night. I think I will with this beast. But I think the weather's going to get pretty rough later. Right now it's calm and we should be able to beat it up and get base established up at camp. But as you can see, I'm sweating and breathing heavily. It's a steep climb, We've got heaps of gear, and it should be a good camp. So sit back, relax, you know, get your beverage of choice, and watch me endure the elements. But I'll catch back up with you guys when I'm up at the camp. But I'll push on for now, and I'll see you soon. This tent is the Hilleberg Namash GT2P. This thing is a black label tent. It's an absolute beast. It's a way overkill for these conditions, but it's gonna be, you know, luxurious to have up here in camping. So I'm gonna get this set up, which is gonna be pretty fun. It'll take me a while, because it's the first time I've done it. And then get warm, puff a jacket on and everything, but this is gonna be special. Everything about this tent is jacked up. Look at these pegs, black label. Man, look at this thing. <laughs> That's beautiful. What a stunning tent. Look at this massive vent here. Ideal ventilation. Okay, so this is quite possibly the coolest door you're ever gonna see in a tent. I have a giant space in here. Oh my goodness, this is luxury. I'll get this up in the tent and I'll show you this. Welcome to inside my tent palace. This is the inner and I'm inside the vestibule right now. <laughs> Look how big this thing is. This is incredible. You could easily fit two people in here or it's an absolute palace for one person. And I got that massive vestibule. This is just incredible guys. I love this tent already. I'm gonna get everything set up. Um, and then yeah, maybe get the tarp up. There's bad weather coming in this way, so uh, I'm probably going to have to get on to that quick. It's really coming in out that way. There's a few snowflakes falling down. I'm not sure if you can see them, but there's little light flakes. I get this chair up and then the tarp up. Woo. Okay, get a stick out here, set the tarp up this way. It's a bit unfortunate, the wind's kind of, kind of hard to say, it's swirling around a bit. Here's my stick. The Alton Ultralight Tarp. This thing's been a beast. I've used it in pretty much all my camping videos and I can highly recommend it. So I got a link from Alton, it's an affiliate link, so you guys can pick one up, support me, support the channel, and support Alton, and they make good gear. Pretty secure. Nice. Ooh. Man, it's 
coming in. Far out. Good. We've got sun protection. The wind's blowing straight in. We've got shelter in here. Kind of. That's nice. We set up. It's not the ideal shelter because the wind's kind of coming in and swirling around. But it's kind of stopping the, the snow and ice coming in from that way. With this big vestibule, everything's sheltered in the tent anyway. So I can sit out here, enjoy the views. I'm not sure about a fire with the wind direction coming this way. But I think I'll get a cup of tea on and assess the situation. I just remembered, I have to go to the filthy old tarn to get water because there's none in my bottle. Oh well. I think I'll put the waterproof pants on, heat to the tarn, get water, then come back, get a cup of tea on, and make sure everything's sorted. But I'm pretty happy with the setup. I can look out to the mountains. It's kind of like a whiteout, well, beginning to be one. And the snow's just falling. That's a wicker proof door. Okay, we're leaving camp. Got my water bottles. We're gonna go over to the tarn, fill them up. Hopefully the water tastes better than last time. It was disgusting last time. Look at this. Snow's just coming in. Kind of from over there. Magical. Look at that. It's amazing. It's my water source. Which is frozen, it looks like. Yeah. Frozen solid. That one's real deep. Man. Ooh. Look at that. cold man it's icy Whoa. it's big chunks of ice Gas is struggling, it's pretty cold. It wasn't really forecast to get this cold. That's unusual. That wouldn't be a proper camp without some digestive. Whoa, look at these big flakes coming in. That's some proper snow. I'm very hungry, so I'm gonna have these power up. And then I might go cut a few trees down and think about having a small fire. Oh. Ooh, that's good. This is glorious. Whoa. the perfect dunk right up to the fingertips. Oh.
All right, it's time for wood. We have the Silky Zubat. This saw is an absolute beast. Um, I'm not even sure I'm gonna be able to have a fire, just with so much wind. But I'm gonna get some wood anyway. We'll chop that up and then we'll assess the situation. Oh man, these conditions. Woo! The temperature's risen a bit and it's turned to like slushy, snowy sleet. This type of like weather, I reckon it's the worst because it's cold and it's wet. But it's not cold enough to be fully dry and freezing. That's it all cut up. Oh, that was good fun. Some water. Okay. Man, it's all building up. Ugh. Got my special knife. The lion steel. Thing beautiful. All right, we're gonna split some of this. <laughs> I need to find a good piece to baton with. What should do? Nice. People ask me, why don't I bring an axe? Well, you have more control. It's actually easier, I reckon, to do this. Like, look how easy that splits. It's like perfect. Hot knife through butter. Even through the knots. Bash it. Oh man. I need to have a break soon and have another cup of tea. I'm impressed with that. Does a great job. Okay, I'm gonna move some of these rocks and set up my fire pit over there. Oh. All right, can you see me? 
my umbrella's falling off. Just reattached this umbrella. Oh. Okay guys, I'm gonna light the fire. I got a bit of a barrier here. Hopefully it blocks the wind. Get some of these pieces on at the bottom. I think I'm gonna need quite a little fire starter for this. Got the little lucifers. This stuff's the best. I'm starting to feel the cold quite bad, so I really need to get this going. I'm shivering a bit. Please work, lighter. Just go. Please. Oh no. When in doubt, get the stove out. <laughs> this never fails. Get that in there. Okay, let's see if that'll burn. It's getting a bit colder again. The rain's turned back to a nice, well, it's not a nice snow. It's like a slushy snow, but hopefully it turns to powdery good stuff soon. There were some nice dry pieces amongst some of the rotten stuff. All our spales will get the flex tail pump on it. Oh yeah, that's nice. We have fire. I've got to get this hot get the fire burning really nice, warm myself up, and I think I'll get dinner on. I got Wagyu burgers and Swiss cheese on a brioche bun. Whoa, you see that smoke? <laughs> so having a cigarette of beech wood. I'm drying out real nice now. Feel way better. Fire's roaring now. I think the burgers are about done. I'll check them. Looks like more snow's coming in. 
This is turning into an epic camp, guys. I hope you're enjoying it. Oh, I'm gonna have these burgers. I can't wait to get into the tent. It's cold and wet out here. The fire's great, but I want to spend some time in this big beast behind me and enjoy it. But look at this fire. Man, that's nice. Check that out. Crispy cheese, steamed brioche. All right, everybody. I'm not sure if you can see me, because the snow's coming in and there's just rain everywhere. But I got these burgers, I've got a roaring fire. It's been a lot of hard work to get to this point, so I'm gonna indulge in these. Oh my goodness. Instant gratification. Well, no. This is a lot of delayed gratification, actually. Oh. Oh, my goodness. The Swiss cheese. That kind of tangy nuttiness. Goes so good with the, like, the meaty wagyu. Oh. It's juicy, crispy. And I'm drying out by the fire. Ah, smash the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up. We did it again. We're out in big red tent in the snow. Thanks for coming, guys. I hope you like this one. Oh. Juicy. Look how good this fire is. Splitting the wood makes a massive difference. Oh, it just burns so much better. Mm. Look at me, I'm steaming. Whoa. Burger number two. It's one of the marvels of the universe. Burgers, man. Look, it's crispy. Um, so, yeah, anyway, I'm gonna finish this burger and I'll come back to you guys afterwards. Oh, these are so good. I've almost completely dried off now by this fire. All the coals have built up and there's like an inferno level heat coming off this. The rocks are reflecting it back, it's real nice. I was cold before but I'm feeling good now. Look at this, just me, the fire, the rain and the snow. But I think I'm gonna have a hot chocolate in bed. But I'll sit out by this fire a bit longer. <clears throat> Then I'll give you the tent tour of the greatest tent in the world. <laughs> oh. 
Ooh. Welcome to inside the great outdoor palace. The fire's still going out there. It's actually quite warm in here. It's weird. But look at this tent, man. The camera's like right back in the vestibule. Um, huge vestibule, like the size of a normal tent almost. And I got all this space in here. I'm gonna get these clothes off, get the boots off, get some warm, dry base layers on, and get super cozy. <laughs> but this thing is amazing, man. This is unreal in here. Check this out. This is filled with ice and snow from the top. We're steaming up in here. <laughs> it's gonna be condensation on the camera. The old tea bag. So imagine this in a snowstorm with no tarp, just me huddling in this, massive amounts of snow falling. I'll get a chair so I could sit where the camera is in the vestibule, or you can just unclip this in it, and you can just move right back. You could sit anywhere. You could just be in here in a chair like this, drinking beers, cooking steaks, open up that cool door, look outside, the snow will be piling up. I mean, this tent's amazing. Let me know if you want to see a video like that where I just take it out and get absolutely hammered in a storm. Not drunk, hammered by the snow. And just chill in a tent like this. Dark chocolate digestive. Mm. If it was snowing and you had snow like up to here, you could crawl out and not let the snow in. I might leave it open like that, just so I can have some airflow. <laughs> oh, in the Zen Bivy. Look at it. Man, I love the Zen Bivy. My one is so good and it's so lofty. So all I can say is, I mean, look at that. It's incredible. By the way, I don't think I told you guys yet. This is actually Tony's tent from AV Camping. I know a lot of you guys watch him and you also watch me, but he's had this big, beautiful beast sitting on the shelf for like, I don't know, two years. He used it once in a little campground. And I was like, man, where's Big Red? He was like, do you want to use it? So he let me borrow it. Um, such a generous guy, he's probably going to give it to me because you know Tony, he's just, he just loves me, so <laughs> if you're watching Tony, I really like the tent, but yeah, it is an absolute beast and yeah, thanks Tony for letting me use it, uh, you should check him out, AB Camping if you haven't, he does, you know, things in tents, kind of like me, <laughs> hear that, <laughs> his water coming off the top. Anyway, I'm gonna clip this whole thing up, hunker down, and just enjoy the night in this giant palace. The big red lipstick. But anyway guys, I'll see you in the morning, and hopefully there's a meter of snow, and I won't care because I'm so secure. But that's enough from me. I'll see you in the morning. Good night. Oh, it's steamy in here. Cheers everyone to the maiden voyage of the Namaj GT2. I didn't have the best sleep last night. I kind of had like torrential rain smashing against the side of my head down at the foot end of the tent. But you know, I don't really come out here to have the best sleeps ever. I was comfortable and warm. I just was not really asleep. I'm just going to get back in the quilt and relax for a bit. 
keep myself warm. But look at the length and width of this tent. It feels very big in here. It's kind of hard to explain if you're not used to going into tents, but it's very wide. It's quite high. It just feels large. Really like it, it has a good feel to it. What a morning. It's very misty. It's quite a bit of snow on the hills up there. But I'm just like 100 meters lower, so it kind of melted here. This is nice though. It's quite still. It's quite calm. It's a bit dark down that way. Could be more rain coming. Yeah, there's definitely more bad weather coming in. From behind where you guys are on the camera oh oh well i've got breakfast i've got bacon some real nice special bacon and swiss cheese and the brioche buns so i make two little sandwiches for breakfast which i'll do soon but i'm just gonna chill <clears throat> and enjoy the scenery Hey. Can you see that? Look how close he is. <laughs> These birds are native species, so I'm not supposed to feed them. I'm not supposed to eat them. And you just have to, you know, be at one with them in the nature. Hey! I'll do my regular disclaimer, this is not a health food show. These are just treats for when I'm camping. These are like breakfast burgers, I'd call them. Mm. This is probably the best breakfast. Ooh. So simple, so tasty. <laughs> All right, it's time to get out of here. Wow, look down there. 
It's a beautiful morning. Down behind me, the reservoir, it's like glass. You probably can't see it very good. Man, this is a magnificent morning. It's kind of like semi-clearing up. It's pretty misty down in the valley. But this is just incredible. Coming down here is always the nicest walk out. Look at this. And it's only me up here. No one else ever comes up here. All to myself. Back down at the wagon. And I'm sweaty and filthy. It's a pretty good descent. Burns up the quads. But I mean, all in all, that was a great camp. I really enjoyed it. Testing out the tent was awesome. We got some snow, great food, fire. You know, it was good. So, I'm a bit tired as you can probably tell. But yeah, special thanks to this, uh, the channel members. Um, you guys continuing to support the channel means a lot and going out of your way to do that. I appreciate it. So thank you guys and all the subs and everyone else too. Appreciate your time watching the video. So that's enough from me. I'm gonna drive home about two hours and get to work on this video for you guys. That was a good camp and I'll see you again soon, maybe in the hot tent. But anyway, I'm gonna get these filthy clothes off and go home. See you guys, bye bye.